Hey everybody, welcome back to Peak State Mathematics. We're gonna turn up the speakers, get the energy flowing so we can learn in Peak State. Let's go. Welcome back to another episode of Peak State Mathematics. We're looking at parallel and perpendicular lines unit here. And more specifically in this lesson, we're going to take a look at our parallel lines and their special properties with those angle relationships we've looked at. So what special properties exist with our angle relationships if, and only if, the transversal is cutting through two parallel lines? Well, we know that corresponding angles are congruent. That's one of our special properties. So an example here would be angle six and angle two. If those lines M and N are parallel, then that transversal K is going to cut through and we know two and six are congruent. We also know that alternate interior and alternate exterior angles are congruent. So an example of alternate interior angles would be angle three and five. And for our exteriors, we'd be looking at something like angle one and seven. The other property we're gonna take a look at today that's special is our consecutive interior and exterior angles. And we know that those are supplementary. In other words, they add up to 180 degrees. So an example here for our consecutive interior would be angles nine and 14. Consecutive exteriors would be something like 11 and 16. So they're on the same side of the transversal, either inside and outside. For the alternates, they're on opposite sides of that transversal. Now this transversal must cut through two parallel lines. If it doesn't, we don't really know anything about them. For example, eight and 12 are corresponding, but because K and J are not parallel, we don't really know anything special about those two angles in relationship to each other. So let's go ahead and actually practice how we would implement this and uh, throw some numbers at it. So we're gonna look at the same set of angles, same parallel lines, but the given to us is Line M is parallel to line N. And we are given some angle measurements that we're gonna be able to use throughout all these questions here. So the measurement of angle 14 is given to us as 67. That's just given. And then we know the measurement of angle six is given to us as 105 degrees. Now using that, let's do a little bit of simple math to find these missing angles. So measurement of angle nine, if we look at that one first, our transversal J ties those together and those would be consecutive interior angles, which we know are supplementary. So I can then create the equation that the measurement of angle nine plus the measurement of angle 14 is 180 degrees, substitute in 67 for angle 14, subs, uh, subtract that 67 from both sides, we'll see that the measurement of angle nine is 113 degrees. Now looking at angle 16, this one actually takes us back to some geometry basics, right? Those are vertical angles, and we know vertical angles are congruent, therefore the measurement of angle 16 is also 67 degrees. All right, so practice a couple more of these on your own uh, and make sure you're in peak state as you're doing it. Good luck. Hey everybody, thanks so much for watching this video lesson. I hope you enjoyed it and you learned something. Please hit subscribe so you have access to all of our video lessons. And if you want live free tutoring with me every single Monday, check out peakstatemathematics.com and sign up for that. Until next time, remember, always learn in a peak state.